Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, yet again. Now, as a subject I want to talk about today that's been quite, um, been quite prevalent inside my mind for some time now, and there's, there's only a couple of words, why me? Simple as that. Nothing else, no drama, nothing, why me? Um, and it's a question you'll all be asking, you know, um, even if you haven't got cancer. You know, I was speaking to a lady yesterday, actually, and I said, ah, oh, you, you know, I do YouTube, I've got a couple of channels, and one's Life Hacks, and the other one is, uh, the other one is uh, a daily vlog on my, on my cancer. So I uh, said, so go ahead and have a watch. She said, well, I haven't got cancer. <laughs> it was quite good, actually, because I sort of stumbled. And I said, well, you know, Maybe it's for a preventative cause, or maybe it's somebody you might know, or maybe... I don't know. She said, and she said well, I won't watch it because I haven't got cancer. So, fair enough. Um, but even if you haven't got cancer, you'll still have, even if you've got an illness, if you're overweight and, you know, you can't get the motivation in your brain to start doing something. Um, why me? And it, it's those two words. Fascinating. You know, you always hear kids say when they're, when they're young, why? Why? Well, I'm saying, why me? And we all say exactly the same. So before we go on, I'm gonna show you where we are. Obviously, we're in the middle of nowhere. These few footprints here, I made those. Did a couple of videos and they didn't look right, so I did them again. <laughs> That's just me. Nobody else here, middle of nowhere. It's actually by the side of the highway. You might um, you might hear some road noise, but actually nobody comes down here. It's, it's great, so I came, you know, I, Further on up that way is where I was yesterday. Um, I've come further towards the east now, this way, uh, west, sorry, uh, today, and it's just a bit more quiet. It's lovely. So why me? I don't know really. It was um, it was a question I asked my consultant as soon as he diagnosed me, or as soon as he gave me the first bit of information I needed to take in. I said to him, Doc, why me? And he said, You know what? It's just tough luck. I said, what do you mean? He said, it is, it's just tough shit. And that's exactly what he said. It was, it was brilliant. It was very good. It, and it is, it is just tough shit in a, in a sense. Um, you know, in, with cancers, you know, I hear people saying all the time, we've all got cancer, it's just a matter of time. No, you haven't, it's a load of nonsense. When you research how cancer starts, then you'll understand who does or who how or how you get or how it forms. We all have, you know, it's a particular way that cancer forms, um, you know, for it to all clog together all the nonsense and the nasty stuff. And there's actually a gene in your body. So each one of us that are going through cancer or have got cancer or, or whatever, we've got a gene in our body that's just triggered it. And that's the reason why we tend to get the cancer. Now, my cancer, my particular cancer, obviously I've said before, they haven't found a cure and they're still working now, you know, to try and find a cure. They're working on the gene that triggers it in my cancer. There's only a few a year that are diagnosed, so they're working on a gene that triggers it. So for me, you know, I still say, why me? And you know, I've never done nothing wrong, really. I was a bad lad when I was younger. I was into the knuckle game quite a lot, you know, and um, and a lot of people relate to this. And I was a fighter for some time. I've always worked. I've always paid my taxes. I've never, ever, ever been out of work, um, you know, except for the last three or four years. You know, I've been in work, been out of work, been in work, been out of work. And that's due to health and illness, you know, um, and trying to do things that I used to do, which obviously I can't anymore. That's why it's exciting. On Monday, I, I start a new job. It's something that I'm very good at, and it's not doing what I've done before. It's great. So, you know, why me? I, I, like I said, I've never been bad. Of course, when I was younger into the knuckle game, I got myself in trouble with the law and all the rest of it. But that's, you know, that's part of growing up. That's what we all do. Men, women, children, everybody. We all do exactly the same when we're younger. I don't care who you are you've all done something wrong in the past. I've never beat up an old lady. I've never robbed anybody. I've never stole a car. Um, you know, I, and I keep saying, why me? You know, I have to work for, or well, me and my wife, sorry, we have to work for money what we've got. We work really hard for our, have, a, have a roof over our head. We don't ask anybody for money. We don't beg for money. 
you know, and obviously I had my little rant a couple of days ago about people begging for money on YouTube. Um, and I just keep constantly saying, why me? I've never done nothing wrong. You know, even when I was working, I, you know, I worked really hard and tried to be the best I could. Um, and a lot of people are related to that. But why me? I don't know, really. Why you? You know, why all of us? It's, I think is like my consultant said, it really is just tough luck. Um, you know, but I think, because when you walk down the street, you'll see people, overweight people, smoking, drinking. You think, God's sake, you know, you've got a belly hanging around your knees, you're hardly walking, you've got bloody water retention around your ankles because you're so overweight and you haven't got enough flow going around your body. Um, you eat rubbish food, you drink far too much, and you smoke, and, and you think, well, I don't do any of that. I've never done any of that. Yes, I used to drink, um, and I did used to eat junk food, you know, but I was never that unhealthy, I could barely walk. You know, I see people, you know, I live in Spain, you know, very close to the beach, and I see people coming on holiday from different countries, and they hire a damn wheelchair, an electronic wheelchair, just to go from the hotel to the beach, for God's sake. There's nothing wrong with them. You know, I've worked in a hotel and 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 these people have come up and they've said, oh, I'd like to uh, hire a wheelchair, an electronic mobility scooter. I said, oh, right. I said, we need to see your your disability badge. Oh, I'm not disabled. Oh, right, oh, right. oh we, we generally keep them for the disabled. Oh, no, I just want it, you know, because it's, it's easier, isn't it? And then when I get bladdered, I can just get back. Oh. It's just, they disgust me, these people. And there's so many of them that do it. They're just lazy in life. And I, you know, and that's another one. Why me? You see people that have got cancer, you know, and they don't give up certain things, you know, be it happy pills, be it drink, be it junk food, or all of the above. You know, and I keep saying, why me? Why me? You know, why are you giving everything and I'm giving nothing? Why me? You know, is it because I tell the truth? I don't know. Why me? You know, and that does annoy me. You know, I, I know people that do play the system. They play it very well. And I sort of take my hat off to them. I do get a bit annoyed. I've got to be honest, because that's just me. I get annoyed um, about silly things. And looking at things like that, why me? You know, you see people that have gone through gone through chemotherapy or gone through cancerous drugs or had implants or something like that, and they constantly drink alcohol. Now, for me, it's just it's just madness. The reason why it's madness is because you've had you've had um, you've had drugs put into your system to counteract against the cancer you've got to fight it to make it go or to shrink it to such a point where it's non-existent. Why on earth would you put bloody alcohol in your system to fight against the medication you just put in? I don't get it. You know? <laughs> is it just me? But why me? You know, junk food is a massive no-no in my opinion now. You know, I, I never go to McDonald's. Even yesterday, me and my wife and a couple of friends, we went out yesterday and... Um, we went round the mall because it was very bad weather. We'll go back again later because I've got to go buy some new shirts and things. And um, we went to like a, a more, you know, KFC was, was jumping out all over the place. And, and you've got Burger King and everything is jumping out all over the place. Please come to us. But I wouldn't do it. There was another one called, uh, I can't remember what it's called, Sierra Nova or something like that. It's more of a healthy, a healthy um, option, you know, they make you wraps. So basically I had a wrap um, with sort of minced beef and bits and bobs, more of a Mexican style. Um, my wife had a similar thing, but she had chicken, my son had a chicken one, and our friends had chicken as well. Um, and it was very nice, it was really good. I went mad and I had a Coke, <sighs> couldn't believe it. But you know, when my, when my consultant used to say to me, Jason, have have coke you know every so often you know it's okay once in a while 
you can drink alcohol once in a while. I just can't get my head around it. I do have a Coke every now and again, I'll be absolutely honest. You know, if I drank it every day, and I think it would serve me right for keep drinking it every single day if I got ill again. But I don't. You know, it's a one-off. You know, once or twice a week I might have a glass of Coke. Um, and it was a lovely healthy option. Then you see the fat wildebeest, sorry, but you see the fat wildebeest walking into the junk food ones because it's more of an addiction, I think, more than anything. And then that's the point where you sit there and your mouth is down on the floor and you're going, why me? You know, there's loads of things. I mean, I could, I could talk about loads of things. Why me? You know, you've got junkies. I've got a member of my family, you know. I don't even know he's still alive. I haven't seen him for a long, long time. But um, he's been a junkie since we were teenagers. And I keep questioning myself. How has that man lived for so long? And I've got this and, and the prognosis, they don't know. Why me? I don't get it. I just don't get it. You know, what can we do to kill the why me? I don't think there is anything really. I just think we just got to battle on and just try and ignore it, be ourselves. So listen, I'm, uh, I think I'm rabbiting on a little bit too much now on, you know, on, on, going off track again I suppose like I normally do <laughs> but in a nutshell why me so the other one is before you go like and subscribe share and comment because if you don't why me <laughs> um, listen do your thing guys absolute pleasure yet again and I will see you maybe later because I've got something else planned on my brain I need to get out so keep it sticky guys